One, two, quick mate. Oh. Quick mate text. Make test. One, two, one, two. PlayStation 1, which has been sold as faulty, but it powers on. Uh, it starts up, always goes to the memory card and music screen. For some reason, it won't read discs. So, there you go. Now, it's in nice condition. It's a 1002 model. So it's got the extra AV ports on the back. I've wrote that on. No power to CD drive. Because when you power it on, it's not the fact that it doesn't read the disc. It's the fact that the CD doesn't spin. When you plug it in to the TV, you get this picture. So that's what you see. Um, and you put a disc in. As you can see, the disc, the disc's not spinning. So there's, there's more than likely a power fault to the CD spindle. Now there is a switch. There is a switch in there. So we'll press that switch down. And nothing's happening. The, the spin, there's no spin when the lid goes down. So we'll turn this off. Unplug that, pull that out, and we'll take the top off. Now, a word of warning. Every time I open one of these, I get a shock from the power supply. Because the power supply is right next to the rest of the console. So, if you are going to open up one of these, do so at your own risk. It could be... Just a dirty switch. This is the switch. This is the power supply. Right? That's got a lot of voltage in there at the moment, even though it's turned off. So don't touch anything on that separate board there. The first thing we'll do, we'll be careful, we'll plug that in, put a bit of IPA, we'll just put a bit of alcohol in that switch and see if it makes a difference and it's not it's, it's nothing right so it it doesn't look like it's the a simple dirty switch right so we'll switch that back off and we'll remove this so we've got a motor here and a motor here so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some voltage on that motor there, on those points. And see if we can get this to move. I don't know what size voltage it is. So I'll start off with, I'll just put 3 volts on it and see if we can get it to budge. I have 3 volts on my bench power supply. I'm just going to tap this motor and see if it makes a noise. Yep. I can hear that motor moving. We'll try this one. I should move this out of the way. Let's try this one with three volts. Yep. You can see that moving there. I'm, so I'm quite happy that the motors uh, are working. Now let's have a look at this. That's the connector for the voltage for the CD drive. We'll see if we can get that new voltage on there. So we'll power this back on. And if I press that down to close the lid, I'm not getting anything. There's no voltage. But I don't know if the two outer pins are the ones I should be checking. I might have to take this up off. Now with the board out, I've turned it over. And there's some kind of mod being applied to this. I don't know whether to remove it. Or try and ignore it until I fix fix this fault. Or do I remove it? Is this causing the fault? I've got no idea. Let's have a look and see what it is. Right, it's a... 12C508A. 
So I'm going to have to Google that. Find out exactly what it is. The motors for the CD drive got the power from this connector. And this goes up to here, through the wires, to this chip here. This is the CD driver chip. And this is the data sheet for it here. Now I should have 6 to 9 volts power on the chip. And you can see that pins 17 and 18 are for the sled motor. And 11 and 12 are for the spindle motor. And VCC comes in on pins 21 and 22. But there's nothing coming in on this. This is the... There's nothing coming in here on these two pins. And they go through, through the board to this section of the board. These, I think, are the voltage regulators for it. Now, down at the main connector for the power supply, these are fuses. And fuse this one, this fuse has no continuity. And the inductor above it has got some serious dry joints. As luck would have it, I have some 12, 10, 2 amp fuses. So I'm going to replace the blown fuse, reflow the, the dry joints on that inductor, and hopefully we'll get some power back into the area of the board and the CD drive will work. Right, let's have a look. So there's the new fuse and the resoldered inductor. Um, because I forgot to press record or I was recording and for some reason it stopped recording so all I did I've mentioned this a, a few times now if you add a little bit of low melt solder onto each side it remains liquid enough for you to just pull the fuse off with a pair of tweezers so that's what I did and I have reflown, reflown, reflowed that inductor. But I wasn't recording at the time, so I do apologise. So we're back together. We've, I've put all back together. And I've given the laser a bit of a clean. And where's me blooming thing gone? Where's me disc? Oh, I'll put it to the side out of the way. Switch it on at the wall. Power's up. And if I just record this with my phone, there's Dathan logo. And the game starts up. There we go. So that's it. That's the game running. You may be able to hear it in the background there. So if your PlayStation 1 is not spinning the CD, you need to check for continuity from the, the power connector. It goes to pins 17 and 18 and 11 and 12 on the VA6397 FP chip. <clears throat> and if that chip's getting no power, you want to take a look down at that fuse in the inductor and make sure that you have continuity there. So thanks for watching. If this video has helped you, please leave a like and perhaps consider subscribing if you'd like to see more. And I hope to see you in the next one.